place. Worm, prepare yourself. Damn Saiyan. So I hate to be the bearer of bad news for you guys, and this video is 100% my own speculation from what I've seen in the series. I'm hoping that I am wrong, but we ain't gonna see Gohan fighting and being a goon anymore. This is it. The Tournament of Power showcases strength. The Tournament of Power in the manga is now showcasing his strength. The reason this is happening is because they are essentially done with Gohan. They are done developing Gohan's character and pushing him forward. And it's sad to say, and I'm hoping that I am in the wrong here, but it's just obvious. The reason we don't see him in the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie or any mention of him is because they're not using him. These, this story is supposed to be about Goku and Vegeta and Broly, the three Saiyans that essentially made it off planted Vegeta and lived outlived the rest of the Saiyans essentially so this story is not about Gohan so I can put it at that and more than likely in that movie we're, we may get a mention of Gohan studying going back to work neglecting his his fighting abilities or they might just even brush him off altogether because there's a lot of people that want Gohan to be in this movie and there's a lot of memes talking about how he's basically not doing anything and Vegeta and Goku are going to have to, you know, handle things. They're going to have to handle and throw those hands at Broly while Gohan's on the sidelines. But Gohan's doing his own thing. He is a father. He is married. He's got his own job. I mean, he's got his own career, essentially. And he did the Tournament of Power, which essentially was only, what, 45 minutes of, of his time. And he did train before that, but, I mean, he trained for that tournament. And he did his own thing in the tournament. I mean, it's not like he was completely shunned out. Uh, he didn't get a chance to shine against anyone that really mattered, in my opinion. Uh, other than really Dispo. But we really didn't get much on Dispo either. So I'm not really saying that Dispo is one of those characters that was one of those shine characters that Gohan could have fought against. But he still did his thing in the tournament in the anime. And now the manga, this is the biggest indicator that he is not, he's done essentially. This He's, he's put up his, his, his gi and he's done, at least in the anime sense. The manga might take it further if Gohan becomes more entertaining and more popular and they might push him more in the future. But as far as the anime goes, I'm pretty sure this is it. And I ultimately wanted Gohan to be sort of like a mentor, like uh, like after this tournament, he is training, and he you know he wants he realizes that he needs to train to become stronger, just like Goku, and then he can train the next because he's a teacher. He, he's essentially a teacher. I don't know. It's very vague what he does, but I, I was always assuming or under the assumption he was a teacher. So he, I wanted him to train the next generation: Oob, Pan, um, Trunks, Goten, Marin the new Z fighters essentially I would have liked to see that and I know you guys say Goku trained U but I would have liked to see Gohan do it and change it up a little bit uh, change up the end of Z but now I'm pretty sure they're not gonna uh, hang up Goku they're not gonna brush Goku aside Goku is gonna be sticking with us for a while and we still have to have Dragon Ball Super connect to the end of Z so they're gonna have Goku be the trainer. He's gonna be the one training the new generation of Z fighters. I would doubt that the fandom would want anybody else training the new, the next generation. So even Vegeta. Vegeta's a great uh, at, at at fighting, and and he knows how to fight. He knows how to, and it seems like he knows how to train. Um, and he may know how to train others, but it hasn't really been 100% shown, except for maybe in the manga at, at a couple points where he's training with, you know, Goku and he's training with Trunks. But yeah, we wouldn't accept that. And neither will Akira Toriyama, neither will will the the, uh, the the guys over there at Toei. So they're going to make Goku be the trainer. And again, that's basically it for Gohan, essentially for the anime portion. And again, as I was stating earlier, a big indicator this is the case is because in the anime, he barely, when in the Tournament of Power, he fought a few people, but he didn't fight really too many people of note. I mean, the only person that I can think of off the top of my head, and this person didn't even get really much of a background. I mean, we cared more about him than, say, Dispo, but he still didn't get too much of a background story besides being the god of destruction uh trainee and that is topo he fought him for like a second and that was basically it and he fought i mean he was there and he did his own thing but he didn't have like a moment to shine where he like where you know goku fights against kefla and you know and well look oh goku fights against kefla look what's happening in the manga gohan is facing off against kefla base gohan slapped bitch slapped a key blast that kefla through 
which I'm assuming that she threw with the intent to do some damage because she knows how strong Jiren and Goku is and he she threw this key blast at them and Gohan just swatted it and he was done with it this is the same character that just raffle stopped in, in, in just kill just a kill portion raffle stopped Frieza took out multiple universes I mean she got handled by the pride troopers a little bit but in the end of the day once she's fused with Khalifla that's it Kefla is not only is she Bay, but she is one of the most powerful characters in Dragon Ball, and definitely in the Tournament of Power. She faced off against God of Destruction, uh, God of Destruction, Super Saiyan God Goku. Um, she knocked out a Super Saiyan Blue with Kaioken Goku, and she faced off against Ultra Instinct Omen. So she is a powerful character. Now we have Gohan, who has trained or has been hinted of training in the manga. So we don't know how powerful he is, but we have Gohan swatting away her attacks, and now the next chapter, he's gonna go hands on this character. So if this is gonna happen, I'm telling you right now, this is the indicator that is showing me as a fan, as a real Gohan fan, is showing me that yes, they're going to pump up and give Gohan his real moment to shine here in the manga because in the anime he had a few, but again he didn't fight anyone in my opinion that was worth that was that was of note. Here in the manga, he's fighting Kefla, one of the one of the most characters of note in in the, the tournament. And so I don't know how this fight's gonna go. I think that Gohan is gonna pull some stuff that we haven't seen. And I'm telling you, this chapter is gonna be the Gohan chapter that we're, we're all we all wanted. There's gonna be so many references to the Cell Saga in this in this chapter because we already seen Toriyama do this before. He does references to Dragon Ball Z, so. Yeah, this is going to be the chapter that he's going to shine, and this is going to be either his last hurrah or the manga is going to keep him going. But I'm telling you right now, he's hung up. They've hung up, hung him up to dry, in the anime. They're focusing mainly on Goku and Vegeta. In the anime, Gohan was able to face off against Super Saiyan Blue, his father. He still lost, but he had like breakthrough episodes, and that episode, in my opinion, was one of my favorite episodes of Dragon Ball Super. So he's he's done his thing. They're not going to redo it again. Okay, either Gohan is training in this movie, I'll put it this way, either Gohan is training in this movie in the background, or we don't, or we find out about him, like that's what he's doing, he's not actually studying, he's training, which would be good, and that would put my case, it would just destroy it, and I'm happy for it, or they're gonna find out that Gohan is still training, or is, is still studying, and that's it. I highly doubt that Gohan as a character is going to have another re redemption sort of arc like he did right before the Tournament of Power. But those are just my thoughts on Gohan, guys. I, I want to know what you think. Do you think he's going to be in this movie? Do you think he's going to be in the future of the Dragon Ball anime? And how do you think that Gohan versus Kefla fight is going to go? Let me know all your thoughts. I want to go ahead and debate this with you guys in the comment section because this... Gohan has me heated because a lot of people want Gohan to be in this. And I get a lot of comments lately on, where's Gohan? Do a Gohan video. And this is my thoughts on Gohan. And my general thought is we're, we're, we're never going to get Gohan from Cell Saga. We're never going to get that badass teen Gohan. It's not going to happen. He had some good parts in Buu, in the Buu Saga. And he's had some good parts here right before the Tournament of Power and in the tournament. But besides that, we're never going to get that nostalgic sense. And and if the manga, if Toyotaro starts mimicking sort of some scenes, some iconic, some iconic scenes from the, um, the anime, from Dragon Ball Z, in this new manga chapter, that might be as nostalgic as we get. But rest assured, we're not going to get the same Gohan again, or the same moments for Gohan again, in my opinion. And I will eat my words... And be happy for it if we do. This is going to be Blackscape signing off.